What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we're back with another Marvel Snap video. And this video, it's a very special video, all right? And if you clicked on it, you probably already saw the length of this video, but I promise you, it is worth it, okay? So, Thanos is one of the top cards right now, the top deck archetypes right now. And in this video, my co-host of the Snap on Ego podcast, Brad Sefer, actually coaches me with Thanos. So any of you who know me, you know that I've hated on Thanos and locked off forever, but I use Thanos to get to infinite, okay? So the reason why I highly recommend you just watch this video entirely through is because a lot of people wanna get Thanos, uh, they have them pinned, they're saving up tokens, all that kind of stuff. But something I've realized, and I especially I especially realized that as I was trying to hit infinite, there aren't like any videos out there that I can find from other creators, like teaching you how to play Thanos, okay? This is not like any other card out there. It's not one of those cards where it's just like, oh, you just unlock them and you just, you just start playing, right? Like this is a complicated deck. This is a complex deck. This deck takes practice, it takes strategy, all right? And nobody's really talking about it. So I do have a future video plan. I'm gonna take a little break. I don't wanna just keep slamming you with Thanos uh, content. But uh, I've been getting tips and help from so many people. And one of them was this coaching session with Brad. So Brad has a ton of experience. He comes from Magic the Gathering, all that kind of stuff. And he he said like he was ranking up like crazy with this Thanos stack. So I'm like, you know what? Let's record a video. You come, you walk me through it, okay? So this video is a bit longer, but I promise you, if you are planning on playing Thanos or if you even have Thanos right now and you're like me and wasn't seeing any luck with it, like this session really, really helped me a ton. So I highly recommend you just watch it all the way through. Uh, we talk through the process. I get to ask him questions, all that. All right, so Brad, uh, his information will be linked down below. You can follow him on Twitter. He's my co-host on the Snap on Eagle podcast. But before we jump into this, uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. Uh, my channel is not just dedicated to Marvel Snap, but the more competitive side. So if you're interested in ranking up, entering tournaments, all that kind of fun stuff, you definitely want to subscribe. Ring that notification bell. We're trying to hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the month. We're pretty close. And and we got a bunch of cool stuff going on. We have our awesome Discord community down in the description below. And if you're a subscriber and you follow me on Twitter, we do monthly giveaways for the season pass. The new season starts next week. And I will be giving away three season passes like I do every month, but you gotta be subscribed. You gotta follow me on Twitter, at BootmanMSTZ. All that's linked down below. All right, so like I said, this is a long one. If you need to take it in a couple bite-sized chunks, come back to it later, go for it. But I promise you, you will gain some value. This session with Brad really taught me a lot of different uh, strategies and a different mindset I had to get into while playing this Thanos deck. All right, so without further ado, here's my coaching session with Brad. All right, Brad, so we all know why you're here. I did, I did a little intro for you, so first, before we jump into some games and you coach me on how to use this complex deck that I keep screwing up with, break down this deck. So most decks, real quick for everybody out there, usually arrows in here. But Brad, you got a Koye in here. So maybe talk about that, talk about the idea behind the deck, and then we'll see what's popping. So first off, with the difference of a Koye and arrow... The reason I don't have arrow in, not that arrow is a bad card, and you there is some merit to depending on the metas where you can be like, yo, I'll take out any one of the other five drops or something like that, or even maybe one of the six drops, uh, like being Magneto or something, and just swapping an arrow to have that utility. Uh, the reason I don't like arrow that much, I'd rather have a Koye, is because I found the deck has a lot of turns early game where you just don't have anything to do. Because if you have Arrow instead of Akoya, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five plus five and six drops yeah. in a deck. That seems overly reliant on the idea of I'm going to get Lockjaw and I'm going to you know cheat these things out. And I don't I don't like that. Yeah. Okoye gives you an option to play something on turn two. Um, if you see her or even like turn three or something like Quinjet, like a stone in Okoye, something like that, it gives you more flexibility. And... For those games where you don't see Lockjaw, uh, just that little bit of a pump to what's in your deck can make the difference. Like having an 11 power She-Hulk or a 10 power Chavez can can make mm. the difference a lot of times. So that's why I do that. Um, otherwise, the deck, uh, I will have to say, is 
there's a reason it's one of the best sects right now. I know uh, I watched your video recently on how you are uh, not the biggest fan of it. And look, the things that you said regarding like Lockjaw and the RNG of Lockjaw and then the, your past videos about Lockjaw as a deck, excluding Thanos altogether, are they're, that's completely full of merit. I, I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. There is RNG to it. But there's a way to play around the RNG to, you know, beef up your chances of hitting cards like that. But outside of that is this deck is so good because of the stones and not because of Lockjaw. I would have to say half the time I play the deck, I don't even see Lockjaw. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to manage my resources using the stones. And because they offer so much flexibility of what you can do and how you can play with the deck, it gives you a multitude of choices to be able to determine, is this a Lockjaw game? Is this a Devil Dino, de uh, Dino game where I leech? Is this a game where I have to like just pass on turn five and put a couple things with like She-Hulk and things on turn six? Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's so many choices and you have to determine what kind of game this is by turn two or three. Huh, and that's pretty commit. quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like I said... It's uh, hard to pivot too hard. Like, right before this, I hopped in a few games, and I'm like, okay, because we were talking a little on Discord, and I'm like, okay, cool. I got crap hand, I got nothing. Well, She-Hulk comes out, I can skip some stuff. She-Hulk never comes, Sunspot never comes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sitting there with nothing going out on the board, right? Um, but I will, right. I will say this, and, um, and I'll ask you about your snap strategy. Last night when I was playing, I played on stream, and I showed you my little spreadsheet ranting about this shit. But yeah. I noticed that like 90, 90 to 95% of the games where I dropped Leech on five, they retreated, right? So yeah, I'm like, man, I need, to be, I need to be snapping. Like if I have Leech in my hand, I need to be snapping. But then right after I was about to commit to that, there was like two games where I leeched them and they didn't even care. You know what I mean? And it was like, like yeah. random Shuri decks where it hit like their um, Red Skull or I hit an Infinite and that's a nightmare. But yeah, so how, how do you plan on... Uh, snapping with something like this where there's so many cards in the deck and there is that RNG aspect of like a lockjaw. Do you, do you snap with a certain hand or certain things are going on? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a weird gut feeling. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's just like my, my brain's like weird, like the way I like, I look at my hand and like something just like turns on. It's like, yeah, this is a snappable hand. Yeah. Uh, like when you see like uh like early game mind stone, for example, like if you open with that, um, or you have something like a, a good solid five drop and then you have a time stone in hand and you're okay, I'm going to hold on to the time stone and play that on turn three along with something else like soul stone or whatever. Um, and then that, that, those are snappable hands for me, like leech on turn four or something like even, even like a blue marble for some games on turn four or devil dino on turn four. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also it context matters with like, you know, uh, your locations, like, especially if you have, like, a, a an early closing location, like uh, Keylar or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the Vault, like, stuff like that. Those are also snappable. To, it, it, it's hard to give you a blanket, yes, this yeah. is a snappable hand. Context is important, but that also feeds into, like I was saying, this deck is so full of different choices and avenues and ways you can play it. But yeah. you have to determine the road you go down as early as possible and kind of maintain the maintain the course. Yeah, and and maybe maybe this will help uh, ease my mind and show that I'm not crazy because we might jump into some games and you'll see that I just have the worst luck on earth. Like right before yeah, this that's game, incredibly possible. Right or right before we hopped on, I I did an amazing turn five leech against a Sandman deck and. Uh, Lucky for them, they top deck Sandman, so it didn't even get touched. In there. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, there's there's my luck. Really, like, with Sandman being a, a lot more playable now, of course, um, being a five five with a nice buff, and then like I was saying, I already said before the Sandman buff, I thought Gal like not Galactus, but like Electro Ramp was in a good spot. Now it's definitely in a good spot with Sandman as a five five. Mm -hmm. But you, but that deck does telegraph itself. Ebony Maw, Sunspot, like on turns one and two, and like you know Electro, that gives you the heads up of okay, this turn after the Electro, I gotta just dump these stones. I gotta get as much draw as I can because a you want to find Devil Dino. Mm -hmm. And then the stones do a great job of making one for ones for themselves and filling up your hand to make sure it's still full enough for Devil Dino, especially with the only the fact you're only going to be playing one card a turn. Um, and then you want to be able to find any other big haymaker like a Magneto or something like that. Mm. Uh, so you, you got to be able to be quick, but you, it's just like all snap games. Sometimes you got to know when to retreat and save yourself, like, you know, get out of there with a one or two cube loss and then get right back into it. Like they, they're not. 
unwinnable games by yeah. any means. Sand, Sand, Sandman is not as detrimental to a Thanos deck like you would have thought. Right. I actually think turn four, um, turn four kind of uh, uh, Sandman more consistently, not counting like Electra right now, but before the buff was actually worse for the deck than it is now. Oh, coming out earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's find out. Let's let's jump into some games. We'll see. And here's the thing for everybody watching too. What I don't like about these these kind of things is like the the turns are so short that we can't really have a conversation. <laughs> you know. So yeah, so, I'll, I'll try to be quick. Yeah. Uh, also, that that whenever I played Thanos, it's never done this before. This must be part of the new update of like looking at all the stones. Yeah, where it like flashes them. Yeah. So this all this right, I so, like. I would drop Sunspot. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I would too. You can drop it on the big house um, and then kind of go from there. You got Devil Dino, you got Space Stone. Looks like you're going against a Shuri Zero deck. Um, Space Stone I want to hold on to. Killmonger is a card you don't want to play. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they, I mean, if they play their own Killmonger, uh, which I doubt it in Shuri, yeah. uh, I would just, I would pass here. Yeah, I can get I some. Would, would see, look, anything. or maybe I just need you here. Look, I got Sunspot, I got She Hulk, so I can pass when something's getting buffed up. Like, these are things that don't happen to me. Oh, but they got a free Wakanda. <laughs> okay, now, no, okay, now here's the thing. You want to play uh, Space Stone and Soul Stone on the big house? Uh huh. And then move, move Sunspot next turn to Wakanda, and then you can kill Monger, get rid of your stones, and make room for yourself. So you don't want to keep your Soul Stone, even though it's taken down one power? Uh, Not. Like unless okay, unless you can get a reality stone to like you know change the big house up and be able to drop something big, I'm not really interested in it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, because if you're going to get the Shuri deck, the odds of that one power mattering. This the big house is one like location. You're like you can have it. Um, I yeah, I'd go probably Killmonger Mindstone. Yeah, location matter. Are we trying to spread out some power here? Um, you could. Uh, yeah, I probably, something like that. Something like this. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because you're basically trying to say you can have the big house. The only downside at this moment is uh, they're going to drop their thirty power red stall skull under Wakanda. But I can reality stone that piece. You can, especially now that you've already used uh, Killmonger to get out of there. So I would. Ooh, that's that's a little tough. Yeah. Um, so on one hand, you could pass, bump up uh, Sunspot, but we're expecting a big thing on Wakanda. Mm -hmm. And how many cards do you have to, left in your deck right now? Uh, oh, wow. This is weird. The screen share isn't showing the thing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Chavez is coming next. Okay. So you're going to get Chavez. Uh, well, if you play Reality Stone, Time Stone now, and then just play out all your stones, I would probably play Power Stone too. Um, then that gives you two draws here and then a little extra energy. And maybe um, something good will happen. Yeah, see, that's the thing, too, yeah. about Chavez is that I can't even hope for a... Ooh, and we got... A, Titan helps okay. quite a bit. There's Hey, look, there's Shang-Chi. Perfect. All right, so now you can Shang-Chi and She-Hulk because you have seven mana. And I just got a 50-50 on where they're going to... Oh, they can't drop... Uh, whatchamacallit over here? Taskmaster on Big House. There you go. That should... W would you snap them? You at... Would you snap them? Um, would you do uh, it? I mean, the, they'll probably retrieve if you snap, but you could always try. All right. I mean... Let's see. We'll, we'll be nice. Oh, no! Ooh, that's a good play. I, I can't be mad about that. Oh, no! Can't be mad. Oh, wait. We won. Wait, did we win? No, we didn't. We lost by one. Uh, no, they were on different. Oh, we would have oh, had one more power over there. What a dick. So does Shuri wait, wait, does Shuri usually play Cosmo? Yeah, so that's that's the build that like I've been using to climb a little bit. You have a Cosmo and an armor, so you're basically blocking off two lanes, right? You drop yeah, yeah. So it's fantastic. That that could have gone either I way. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. No. That that's a good play by them. I, yeah. I think I think we played the deck just fine, given what we had. Yeah. Um, there is some argument to pivoting to a dino play and then just saying you can have the right location and trying to win mid and left at mm -hmm. that point. But it's so tough to like determine that because especially when you see Shang Chi come up, I think you have to take that chance of like you got to make him have it. That's how the games work yeah. sometimes. And I guess it's a good thing you didn't snap. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. okay. So as tempting as it is to play Time Stone, hold on to it. Really? Um, so you don't want to go for the turn two lockjaw. 
Uh, not with the hand we have right now. If if maybe if that power stone was something else, yeah, a card that would draw you something. If that was like a soul stone or something, I see what you're saying. I, I'd be a bit more inclined. So you would just. I would skip. pass right now. Yeah. What happens if you Hulkbuster on a Lockjaw? Uh, I think it. Hmm. I, I I'm I'm wondering if it attaches to Lockjaw and then Lockjaw just goes bye. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> weird. It drags it with it. Okay. Okay. So here, um, you could Time Stone now and then Lockjaw Soul Stone next turn. Got it. Um, the other option is waiting and and pivoting to Devil Dino. Uh, they're not doing anything on the first turn. Let's go lockjaw. Let's do the lockjaw play. Let's try it. Let's try to since they're not doing anything. Okay, so, so Sandman deck looks like it. Ooh. Um, so re you okay? I would lockjaw mid, and I would they're revealing first. Yeah, I would reality stone. That's that London right now. You. They will make better a, a ramp deck will make better use of Sinister London than you will. Yeah, and I I think you gotta just yeah, this this might be a two stone loss, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Scorpion's not bad. Yeah, but there's definitely gotta throw them off too, though. Daily Bugle, Spider Woman, Spider Woman, twenty bucks oh, says they got my double now. Wait, oh no, they actually have Spider Woman. Yeah. I was thinking, I forgot, I forgot the camp was three drops. Um. That's weird. So yeah, then sp so space stone, soul stone. Um, now there is merit to just shipping out sunspot through lockjaw, especially mm -hmm. because you can space stone it away. Yeah. Because let's let's be honest, are we going to be able to hold up mana the next couple of turns? We're probably going to want to like dino into a lane and then just try to win off of. Uh, Mid, so yeah, I think shipping sunspots fine. Especially yeah, and I'm thinking maybe if we draw a leech, we can hit their um, if they have a they are clearly playing like a Doctor Doom. Mm -hmm. Okay, Magneto's nice, a nice big guy, got a nice little child, nice. and we can move a little something, something. Woo, yeah, Ooh. and okay. mine stone. Okay, um, so let's. So probably move off Mindstone. Okay, they might like so they're probably gonna have fourteen here. Like I'm expecting a. Yeah, Doctor I would Doom. probably go Dino, uh, right. Okay. Yeah, I would do that. Up. Oh, okay. How'd that feel, Arrow? Away. Didn't feel too good, did it? Yeah, there's no right, way they can compete so... with us here. Now you can actually, honestly, Soul Stone right, and then maybe uh, yeah, you can either Spider Woman or you can even Spider Woman mid to just guarantee that like you win mid. Um, well, they they can, they, they need the other less. the other option mm -hmm. the other option is Okoye. And then space stone left. Okoye made space stone left. That way, you guarantee you fill your hand still. Like spice stone, oh, you still do Okoye uh, mid, soul stone. Space stone left. So, no, no, no. Space stone left. You still want soul stone right because you want your devil diamond oh, to yeah. beat whatever's there. Okay, I see um, what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. If they have a Shang Chi, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, Mister Wannabe had to retreat. Those first turn, or, well, that was turn three snapper. He saw that sentence to London and got a little too excited. All right, working yeah. our way back up to 92. Now, that was good. That was good. That was nice. See, that's what I mean, like, when you have to, like, just basically be like, yo, th this is not a, like, you know, a Thanos game or whatever. This is just straight up. We, we got to make use of Dino. Yeah. And look, yeah, of course, Enchantress is a thing and Shang-Chi is a thing. But from my experience, people love to snap. Uh, you just pass here. I don't. I don't like. I, I hate throwing out reality stone just willy nilly. Like I need to have intent behind it. Yeah. Um, See, because I get worried about. Oh, fuck. all right. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We have leech and devil dino in hand. That is perfectly okay. Got it. Um, give it one more pass. 
let him snap. That's fine. All right. He, he clearly uh, didn't get the memo about the last guy who snapped us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Devil Dino and Leech in your opening hand is perfectly okay. Look at that. Look at that, look yeah. at that beast for tempo. All right. So, oh. Castle. I could so just, I could probably pass past Dino into Thanos, or is that crazy? I kind of want I kind of want to draw stuff. Um, they're revealing first, so now I would be tempted to play Reality Stone. Now let's think: do can do we have the way uh, the ability to really make use of cloning vats? Not really. Not until we go Devil Dino, and yeah. I actually would be inclined to play Devil Dino on the last turn, yeah. based on our hand right now. Okay. And leech on five. So let's get rid of Coney Vats, make sure they can't make use of it in case they have small stuff. Which they're just throwing out stuff for tempo. That's fine. And then we're not really hitting good stuff off district decks. So I yeah. I yeah, I just play out your Misty Knight and Vulture for tempo at this point. Because I mean what else are we gonna do? We gotta get some kind of power somewhere. Now, it is funny that we have Heimdall in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For that vulture, if you really wanted to, but I think the plan still is. Uh, I think we still leech. Let's see, where are they going to double? I'm trying to think where they double here. They're probably, they I'm guessing they're going to drop their double over here. Yeah. I mean, this can determine whether or not we Heimdall. Uh, so, okay, I would, okay, just in case they play at mid. I would leech left. That way we have the ability to max out the power in case we need to Heimdall and then play Heimdall and Plunder. Gotcha. Okay, Black Panther. Huh. Well, if they have uh, Arnim Zola for some reason, I just tagged it. So they this will be... With this. I'm adding 8, so, 10 over here. And that's not enough to do Heimdall yeah. stuff. Otherwise, we have no other plays. This is probably a retreat. Retreater? You, you, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That, you, yeah. I mean, we can't blame the deck on that one. That was a District X. No, we we hit awful cards of District X. You got, what, three six drops in hand yeah. now? Yeah, no good. No good. I won't That's blame okay. the deck Sometimes on that you got to, you know, take your losses. Not a big deal. All right. Let's see what JJ's got. I want to figure out why this. Oh, you know what? I think I know why the overlay isn't showing. So anybody watching? So the overlay. Do you you use the overlay, right? Uh, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Untap. Yeah, I think it does a better job tracking uh, the stones now. Before it was just like all like glitch and stuff. Yeah. I can never see how many I had. Um. So this, like, I usually hold on to this until like turn five. I I, I agree because you never know in case like you run hot with like drawing two or three stones in yeah. a row that you might need it for Thanos. And look at that, you drew Mind Stone. And also, Thanos is a great one for Plunder Castle. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, oh. my, yeah, Mind Stone's fine there. Oh, okay. It's, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, my thought, like, the reason I second guess is sometimes I'm like, I don't want to clog, like, Grand Central, you know? Because a lot of people yeah. have been playing, like, those stupid, like, just junk decks where they push stuff over. And I had a game earlier where they just, they just stuffed everything in Grand Central and I couldn't even do anything. Okay. Looks like, okay, we're going against a dino deck, it looks like. Um, Ooh. So, well, I could do the fun okay. play. I can you do the... can do the fun thing of reality stoning it at some point. I Yeah, I would just drop... Hmm, you can do... Okay. You can do this. You can go... Sunspot, right. Mm-hmm. Let's see, we're on turn three. We got time to work with you you are in a place where you can just comfortably pass because you're going to draw your seventh next turn and then you might as well get so i would pass i would pass i'd hold on to it just in case we don't draw into any six drops we want to work with and we need to space stone something over plunder yeah if we so wish um but you also have in your back pocket to reality uh stone the limbo um mm. So you can either She-Hulk now. Hmm. Yeah, because we have a lot of flexibility with Space Stone, I'm thinking, too. Because if I She-Hulk, then I could Space Stone something into Plunder, shut this down. That's kind of where my mind's at. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what what you do on five if you She Hulk now, because now like, are you just gonna go, you know, She Hulk for four, and then on five like Blue Marvel or something like that, and then a bunch of stones, and then Reality Away Limbo. Mm-hmm. Um, that can work. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. She Hulk left. She Hulk left. On some stones, and then on five. Because they are not going to... So let's Space Stone, Soul Stone, right? Well, yeah. That's then gonna that's going to pull um, something. Ooh, we also got Leech. Okay, so if we... Okay, actually, we might want to Space Stone left. Because if we're throwing out a lot of stones right now, mm-hmm. the only downside is that the chance of Reality Stone getting pulled on Grand Central does hurt but the high roll is if we hit one of our five drops yeah. on grand central then we can move one of those over to plunder castle with the space stone next so i'd yeah i'd go soul stone and honestly i'd throw out the power stone too we, we don't think they're gonna have killmonger all right we got we got a one in four chance on this uh this grand central well remember we're drawing cards oh yeah 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 Nice. Ooh, cool. let's clog it up. Wait, is it going to bring anything? No, three no, and four cost. No, because a five drop. But so now I can see. So here's what I'm thinking: She Hulk mid uh, Reality Stone. Yes, um, and you can actually even go Reality Stone Devil Dino left. Hold on, wait, wait, don't don't confirm yet. There is merit to. Doing uh, Magneto mid and keep She-Hulk left. Um, if we're doing Devil Dino left. That way, just in case they have a six drop, um, which I doubt it'd be on Chavez, but yeah. you never know. People might run some something weird. Okay. 12 is typically the, the highest output we can put there, and I think we're still comfortably winning left. Oh, Bye. they had it queued up. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always wonder, like, I wonder if people are ready for that, that reality stone on Limbo type thing, too. I mean, especially because we didn't show it all game. Yeah. I, I would be expecting it, too. Yeah. <clears throat> that That is a very fun play that I've noticed not a lot of people expect, but it's nice. All right. Okay. Cool. So Those we have locked over. Uh, so yeah, I would pass a Koi on two, and then uh, depending on what we go with, we might be uh, locked jawing on three. Got it. Yeah, because Hellfire I without I Koye, Yeah, I would a Koye left. Um. Ooh, okay. So it depends on what we draw. <laughs> Mm-hmm. If we draw Leech, I'm very tempted mm. to time stone on three. Okay. Especially against a control deck, Ooh. presumably. Quinjet. See, so, okay, this, is, so... this is where I get a, in a dilemma, right? Because it's like, do I just Quinjet and then have a bunch of crap I could drop in Lockjaw? You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I... Yeah, I think you can go Quinjet right, and then mm, I'm tempted to ship this Reality Stone right now so we don't hurt ourselves on a Lockjaw lane. So I would maybe Quinjet right as well. I'm sorry, uh, Reality Reality. Stone right. And then next turn, you're looking at Space Stone, Time Stone on top of Lockjaw. Hmm. They didn't play anything. Interesting. And the nice thing is because Quinjet makes stuff zero, you can still like yeah. play your you know Power Stone right if you need to. So yeah, uh, Space Stone, Time Stone, and then uh, let it roll. I feel like I don't play bots anymore either. Like, is this guy mad a bot? I'm thinking not. I don't know. Oh, there's the big guy. That's fine. We can we can move away the Soul Stone. See, Shang-Chi, I hate that. Spider Man. Okay. So is this a Dino game? Let's see. So or I can. You can you can move Lockjaw and still Lockjaw stuff. The only thing is you're essentially. 
Because like if you do that, then we have six power on mid. Uh, Professor X doesn't do it. So, so actually, I think if you move Lockjaw, their only place that they can Professor X is left. Yeah. Because that would give them a so five. So the cards I still have in my then, deck are... But they might not expect Blue Marvel. Um, I'm not saying Blue Marvel now. Huh. All I have is Chavez, Leech, and a couple stones in my deck. Yeah. I would um, Magneto right, actually. Nothing on Lockjaw? Mm, you can Space Stone, yeah. I'd rather show them something big to scare them off of Crimson Cosmos. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, they could have uh, Shang-Chi and just drop that on Crimson, right? But that's the only really thing they can do. Yeah. Um, this basically tells them Professor X is not an option on turn five. You don't give them a... Because, I mean, if they're, they could Professor X left and just be like, I'll take the tie, but then we can pivot to Blue Marvel. Yeah. But even on the left, that seems like a risky tie because they don't know what we could pull still. Oh, they're doing something. Pulling Spider-Man. Come on, stone. Leech. Come on, Leech. On the time stone. <sighs> Sun Sunspot's not awful. I they do Professor X. Okay. Uh, so I would play Dino. Uh, hold on, wait. Um, if you play, we've played what? Soul Stone, Reality Stone. We've already played the Time Stone. Yeah, it's, Have we played all the stones? It shows the Mind Stone is in my deck still. I don't know if we've okay, played so it. Okay, we ha so we haven't played the Mind Stone. So we can't do that. So yeah, let's, yeah, just throw out... Um, yeah, maybe devil, get some more power. power stone and time stone just yeah for power because now um you'll gain the plus one energy for sunspot to get left oh. and they can only shang chi one of the other two lanes that should win it like they, they can't spread out enough power to take both the uh, middle and yeah, right. take the tie well, not even a tie because yeah, yeah they'll shang chi right that's fine but you'll gain the one energy for sunspot yeah. and, get, and win left I think they were running. That's a that's a Valk deck, right? Oh, is that all three lanes? What's up? Good plan, right there, Brad. Good plan. I think I think I'm getting your your kind of strategy behind this, though, like the skipping and stuff. We'll we'll need to do a hundred. Yeah, the, we'll that's why Sunspot game. is really good in the deck because you do like if you got Sunspot on one. There's so many times where you just have like awkward like you know Reality Stone and like uh, the uh, Space Stone on, on like in your hand with Sunspot, and you're like, I don't want to play these. Mm -hmm. Mind Stone on one is the only stone I'll ever play on one. By the way. Okay. See, there's a. I like rules of thumb. I like that. That is the only stone I will ever play on turn one. Okay, so looking um, like a page The soul stone I like to hold on to just in case I see what they're doing and if like if I can actually bring into account that minus one mm. to their side, right? Got it. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. Right, time so... stone into lockjaw and space stone? Or what would you do? I think this is a dino game. Yeah? So we're against Patriot. Right? Yeah. Um, Pager's not going to run Enchantress most of the time. It's just an awkward yeah. spot. I would pass here. Um, okay. Because now this gives you the chance. So, okay. Uh, f we can also have the... Hmm. I would go Time Stone. Uh, yeah, Time Stone left. Uh trying to think if you want to play out the space stone just to get the draw because you don't really have much you would move soul stone's a little weird actually yeah just go soul stone either one mid or right doesn't really matter okay. I, I but i wouldn't do it on the big house okay because i'm still i'm still debating because on I if we think... get the reality stone oh these people so that's fine 
I don't think that's a big deal. Because we're, we're not trying to fill up the board so much at the moment. So now um, I have room to do She-Hulk, Dino, and then if another big six comes out? Yeah, I would go Dino right now. Um, I think I would put Dino mid. Okay. Because I just, I just, I like that Soul Stone backup because every point matters. Got it. Um, now, I do think right here is a good option to go Sunspot Pass. On the right or left? On the right. Okay. On the right. Because you're not going to beat Patriot uh, if they got it for left. So now here's the thing. Do we think, as the Patriot player, it, like if you're the Patriot player here, do you go on a limbo game, the tr- classic turn six Patriot Mystique, mm-hmm. or do you try to be slick with it and hold it to the last second. Cause that, that gives us the chance of, do we leech now or not is the tough thing. Yeah. Cause then I also wonder if they have an Ultron, but they didn't give themselves much, much room to really benefit from Ultron. How many cards do they have in hand? Five. Five. What would they play right now? They just play blue Marvel. They could technically mystique the blue Marvel. Yeah. Or they um, could do Patriot mystique right now too. Which if they, if they would, it would be mid. Yeah, I would like if I was them, I'd forfeit lim- the limbo lane. Um, just play She Hulk right, and then could we fill up? Hold on, could we Polaris right and fill it with no with She Hulk? Oh. Yeah, it'll pull Misty Knight or a rock. Yeah, do that. Do that. And then that gives us... So yeah, there's Patriot. The Patriot, Patriot Mystique. So now that will clog up the right. And then they can't drop a... Whatchamacallit on the left. Yeah. Now, So now you can actually just pass. Oh. I could just pass. I can. Yeah, I can just seven. pass. I can't tell you how much I hate when people do that to me. <laughs> I'm like, what are they going to do? They just skip and get yeah, their sunspot yeah, sun 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 points. And then you, sh- they, they can't beat Limbo. They can't Ooh. beat Camp. Yeah, they're retreating. Camp, Camp Lehigh coming in with the with the Polaris. I like that. I like that. That's. But, okay, for anyone that likes playing Patriot, I got to be honest with you. I, I One, I like I like Patriot as a card. I think it's a cool archetype. Deck is so boring. I get bored so easily no, when same. I play it. But also, stop running debris. I know the rocks get benefited, but like you have such limited space yeah. with Patriot, and uh, it, it can easily you can easily get messed up there. Yeah. No, yeah I, I, think that was, I think that was a good, a good choice with that was the a good Polaris. One. Let's open up. Let's open a little season pass thing. Oh, 50 credits. That's nothing. That's nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh man! And everybody listening, you got. Oh. We got a ton of uh, content for the upcoming episode with all the leaks that came out and everything. But we'll touch on that later. Oh, I know. But yeah, so much. I can't wait for the uh, the animal season. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> did, did you notice that they're all puns? At least like a lot of the uh, the uh, the variants. Are they? I didn't. I didn't even look at the names of the variants. Like, I, I Mr. Fantastic's a moose, so Mooster Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I dig it. Uh, there, Captain America's a cat, so Cat Captain America. Uh, I, have a, I have a shirt. I have a Captain American uh, shirt. So let me guess. You would skip here in a Koye? Yeah, because I I don't want to draw too much right off the bat from the like the Soul or the Reality Stone. Okay. Uh, which again, I don't like just playing the Reality Stone for no reason, though. Reality Stone is a good one on the mid. I, yeah, I would Okoye right. Yeah, okay. And there is absolutely merit to just ripping Reality Stone, Sunspot, mid. Okay. Ooh. Oh, but I... Okay, so now 
Now I'm thinking you Soul Stone and Sunspot right. Got it. I yeah. see what you're saying. So take away whatever power they're going to gain here. Ooh. Shuri. Come on, okay. Shang-Chi. Come on. Well, we'll re- we reveal first, unfortunately. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's why you need Ghost. Am I right? <laughs> so let's see. Now is an opportunity. Now they could be cheeky and throw it on Dark Dimensions. And just be like to protect it from strong team and stuff like that, right? Well, no, because um, then it would it would it get the buff or would it just be buff the next thing that's shown? Whenever I see Shuri come down or zero, like when Shuri or Zero like play something, usually it gives the effect when it's mm. face down. So what do I you don't th- know. I don't know how that works. Reality, um, my oops, not there. What are you thinking? Yeah, let's probably reality mid. And honestly, Quinjet right, and then float the rest. If they want to try and close off that, that's fine. Plus, yeah. that, and like now they're playing probably Typhoid Mary, which is still going to minus stuff. Yeah. So technically, ooh, that's oh, and now you can Magneto Typhoid away. Yeah, which is huge. Um, we don't want to leech. This is not a good leech game. So yeah, I would Magneto and then just, Ooh, yeah, you can wait to do Magneto. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, I'm, I might need a song. No way. Shang Chi's not coming. It's America. Well, if you Magneto and Mind Stone, then you might. Oh, well, Mind Stone just draws stones though, doesn't it? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, Magneto Dimension, so they don't know what's coming, or what do you think? Can you? Yeah, do that. Do that. Because then I probably should have dropped those stones. Damn it. No, you're fine. You're fine. I think it's good to now they're dropping. They're going to drop a Red Skull left. So we're going to take that away. We only need to win right here. So we'll have 10, we would have 10, 12, 15 mid, which would not be enough. I'm thinking you go, because you're going to win right when it pulls away Typhoid. Actually, it might, no, it pulls away all of them, right? So it's going to pull Typhoid and Shuri. Yeah. And uh, that's it. So yeah. Oh, I could just dump it all left? Yeah, if you go She-Hulk, Power Stone, Mind Stone, left, that's 20, uh, that's what, 24, 27, 29. And then, in, uh, yeah, so they're going to have 15 and they're going to be dropping, I don't even have time to do the math. Uh, then 2, 4, 6, 8. They're gonna, I mean, have 30, your, they're gonna have thirty. They're gonna have thirty-five chance because you're not gonna you're not gonna beat uh, mid because yeah. you have thirteen power committed. Let's, let's retreat it, especially because my cat just jumped in front of the screen. Get down, get 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 get. You know, Shang Chi is just not showing up. Yeah, that, that's uh, part of it. Sometimes he's, but I mean, that's kind of how he works in any deck. Right? Of him to yeah. Having it, right? Yeah. All right. Let's let's um, let's do a couple more. See how this goes. But yeah, I think I'm I think I'm getting the groove. I'm getting the groove. But yeah, this is one of those decks because I do play a lot of very passive, like I'll be watching TV and stuff. So I play like mindless, like Shuri decks or whatever. And with Thanos yeah. decks, you like really got to be paying attention, and, like think it through. So I don't even know if it's a good deck to play on stream. There's so many people talking. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So oh. yeah, I just pass. What's up, buddy? There he is. There he yeah. is getting, getting whacked. That's, that's whatever. I mean, you usually don't want to play Shang Chi oh, player anyway. Okay. All right, cool. That's 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 always fun. I'd pass again. Do you win a decent amount of games passing the first two turns? Like, if I pass two turns, yeah. I'll feel scared. Yeah. Oh lord. Bar with no name. All Uh-oh. right, cool. Just that. Um. No, I would time stone too. I'd sunspot and time stone. Okay. 
because at the very least you're you're you can rip off a, another five drop in your deck. But I, I'm also extremely happy about playing Blue Marble. Ooh, and then that happens. Well, it's a weird choice. Yeah, to play it there, but that's fine. And look at that, we would have gotten Leech. Um, can I add four? I just pass. And then uh, is this a no? That's not. Oh, okay. Huh. I was about to say, is this a Shuri deck? Like, what are they doing? Okay, you hold on to Reality Stone because we can snipe Bar with no name. Yeah, just leech, um, leech mid. That's the only thing I have. Or I can drop him right since I have Reality no, Stone. I, I would probably. You know what? Pass. Pass? You crazy guy. I think they're going to drop. No, they're not. The reason I'm saying pass is because I don't give a shit about Necrosia right now. Because they're not going to win mid. Oh. <laughs> now, this is what you can do. You can reality stone right. Uh-huh. Like reality stone, power stone right. Um, well, and then you have nothing else. Uh, hold on. They you could. Drop, they, the could they could taskmaster middle. And get they could, and then get thirteen. Trying to think if you, but they reveal first too. I could also Shang Chi it. You can, but I'm trying to look. Um, time out. Take that off real quick. So if you reality stone right, and then that's it. You then. That's only a tie, right? Because you tie left. Ooh, that time stone getting Cosmo it actually really hurts. I'm I'm really thinking they're going to Taskmaster, but I no, wait, no, no, Power Stone left. Power Stone left. Oh, and then, and then I'll get pass. four plus one. I'll have five. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're doing it. Uh oh. Oh. What, what the fuck what is, is this deck? deck? I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. I'm playing against the weirdest <laughs> fucking people. Oh, Baxter building? Oh, wait. Does Baxter building. Does that help? Did that help <laughs> you? Oh, Let's go. Reality stole for the win. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't see that shit coming. <laughs> what is this deck? What were they? What? Why are they playing zero? I don't know. But oh wait, no. This is oh no. This is the this is the zero uh, probably Dracula. Oh yeah, 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 this yeah. Is yeah, the yeah zero yeah. Dracula Kazar thing. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Look, is. everybody. Brad has got me back to 92. Are you are you turning me into a Thanos believer? Is that what's happening? <laughs> to be fair, we're, I mean we're not snapping super aggressively. I think that I think part of that is because like we're also like talking through all the plays every time, yeah. so you don't really have time to be like snap, snap, snap. <laughs> are, are there any of the, um, these games where you would have snapped though? Do you think? Um, honestly, I would have snapped on that last game going to the turn five, uh, the turn four leech. Really? Yeah. Even though like it Ooh. didn't work. Okay. Like, that's See, like, like that's... this, this for me is an optimal Quinjet's hand. Great. Quinj right. put Quinjet uh, mid or right. You, I, I got it. I always I take. I know it's. It would advise to take the gamble just in case you get the, uh, you know, like the, uh, no the silence, whatever. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You're fine. We're good. I, Comertage is insane with this deck. Yeah. Uh, hold it. Just pass. See this? I feel very... See, like, is this a game you would snap with? Oh, there goes our Thanos. There goes their arrow, though. Hmm... Or, or it doesn't matter. To think. Uh, it's either Sunspot or Lockjaw. I'm more inclined to say Sunspot because Lockjaw doesn't have any setup in your hand immediately. You have to hope you draw into something on turn yeah. four. But let's say you draw into a stone, then you can just... Why are you waving now? Is this Thanos? Yeah, is this or, I'm sorry, or Thanos Galactus? Uh, I would Devil... Ooh, it's either... No, you you could Thanos left. Yeah. Um, to at least contest a Galactus here. The only thing is We'll have priority, they might have a Shang-Chi. Yeah. I mean that that's unfortunately part but of it. But if they blow their Shang-Chi, we have a lot of other stuff, and I'm not too worried about null. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's do it. Let's let's gamble a little. 
Middle? Oh! Sammy. So it's a dino deck, huh? Dino time? This is dino time, yeah. So now yep. you're looking at... The, okay, so the, this is the problem with dino in the spot we're in now because we we uh, we lost our stone and we didn't really have a good opening with stones. Yeah. The great thing that the stones complement for devil dino is the fact they're one for ones. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they, they replace themselves with their draw. And that is huge for dino to keep your hand size, you know, beefy here. Uh, I'm, if you played dino, that's only plus six. He's a nine. Yeah. So, so then you'd play it's If you played him right, which is probably the play to play him, then that's. I'm always, I'm thinking that or blue Marvel. Marvel. Well, we're drawing Chavez. Yeah. So. They might. I'm thinking Dino. Uh, there's also there's also married to Okoye pass and then Chavez, a, a 10 Chavez. Yeah. To grow. Yeah, because I think that actually nets you more and more power. Okay. If they have, oh, they might have a Doctor Doom if they do on Kamartage. That's a, oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good without the. No, if they if they have Artem Zola. Yeah, they definitely do without Shang Chi. Come on, yeah. Shang! Come on, man! Come out! Yeah, yeah. I was thinking the that discard, area. Hmm? The discard of the uh, Reality Stone, even though I don't, I think the Reality Stone's the worst stone. Um, I don't think it's a bad stone. I think it's just the worst one and one I hate having a hand more more than anything. Um that 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 simple plus one draw is yeah. uh, is huge. Oh lord. Look at that. Bye Shiolk. Uh just pass. Because worst case you can go. Do you, you know, do you play against so many game. aggressive snappers like this? Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they see you discard a, like a, a, a ten power card that, that they're like. So they're, I'm guessing they're running a Cerebro too, because they got rid of their Mister Fantastic. They're dropping an Ice Man. Okay, so this is where I aggressive because I have Leech in hand. Mm -hmm. I am aggressively because especially because they snapped on us aggressively. Space Stone. Uh, no, I would Space Stone Soul Stone at the very least uh -huh. right now. Uh huh. And then that gives you a chance. That gives you two options. We did get pulled the wave, which is nice. But then we can also hit the time stone. Got it. Yeah, wave wave might screw them up too, since they're cerebro. I'm trying to think. Yeah, just just wave, just wave, and just you can leave the stones where they are. See, this feels like they're going to retreat right after I drop this leech. Oh, Good. yeah. Okay, maybe not Cerebro. Yeah. But it's... This, yeah, this is a dino game. So, leech, and then dino on five, and then you can... So, arrow left. All right. Um, we lost She Hulk, which is a little unfortunate because that would have been a nice play to go Sunspot Pass and then She Hulk yeah. or something else. Um, if we Dino left and then Magneto either mid or right, yeah. that should win Sokovia. And then I, I do like trusting the Magneto. I think we Dino left. Yeah, my my concern is they're doing a Sarah control. Let's see. Oh, black bolt, cool. So now we're looking at a. Hmm. I'm just wondering six and one. That's seven. Will I win here? Because so I'm wondering if they if have you, a Chong Chi. If you Magneto, you're pulling Polaris away. That's. It was yeah, cool. so but they'll have the arrow and the ice man here still. That's seven. They they have to get thirteen. Uh well uh eleven. They have to get eleven. You think that's the play? I think that's the play, yeah. Because all your other options aren't in Don't show to me. Don't you dare. Don't 
Oh, nice. Nice. Get wrecked. Oh, how did that first turn snap work out for you, Schmaltron? Oh, man. That feels bad. Since I'm, since I'm okay. recording this publicly, I won't taunt him with a, with an emote. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's one thing about this deck. And I know retreating is a big part of Marvel Snap. But I think if it's a 50-50 kind of like toss-up of like they have to have a very particular cards like Shang-Chi or something like that, I think you got to roll with it. If really? you have a plan that like mathematically can work out, you just got to roll with it. Yeah. Here, we'll do one more. But I will say like that is that is one of my biggest crutches. And I think it's because I've played so much Magantris. You do Sunspot mm-hmm. turn one, right? Yeah. But so much Magantris, I'm always thinking of those counter cards. Like they're just like in my brain. And I think yeah. that's like damaged me since I've played so many decks like that, <laughs> that for so long. Um, Cause yeah, when I was running Shuri, I was even like, just had to play like Shang-Chi didn't exist. So what do you, what do you, what are you thinking here? Like, do you fight for Asgard? I do love fighting for Asgard, but with the hand that we have right now, if we pass, you have Sunspot via three, and then you could theoretically go turn. Uh, you can go turn three Lockjaw if we draw something that's ass, mm-hmm. and then we can then fight for it on turn four, which they might overload. We could also get a, because it gives us a chance to see what they're doing. Yeah, we can also drop two two stones in Lockjaw on turn four here, and one of them being the. Um. Mm-hmm. I yeah. I just throw Lockjaw down. And all, yeah. All our stones picks, so. in hand. Hmm? We have four stones in hand. Yeah. Um. Space Stone's going to cost two, so we can go Space Stone, Time Stone. Um, there is Zabu deck, so thinking... Mis- I mean, they do have a negative profile picture, so I'm thinking... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Moon Girl. Ooh. Moon Girl. Oh. Moon Girl. Yo! Hey, Icebox, how about we calm down just a little bit? I think, I think you just Space Stone, Time Zone mid. Yeah, all of our big stuff is in hand, so... Also, I'm not worried about them drawing cards all of a sudden because they oh, yeah. mean girled their hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're full. So, even if they... Oh! Cool. A little early That's on that fine. Killmonger, son! They, they hit it really, really Oh! Early. We'll I benefit from great. those cards, too, though, and that helps our... And we drew it to Shang-Chi. That's also great. Blue Marvel. Another time stone, so we get double energy next turn. Which means we can leech, of course. We did get the yeah. draw out of it too. So with this, would you move one of these two? Um, I would. Okay, there's merit to moving Lockjaw off because I I want to keep Devil in mid because it feels like a, a location we can win. Yeah. And then leech, yeah, leech over uh, leech over Lockjaw. And, and then reality. You. You can run the gamble. It's always fun to gamble. With it. <laughs> you do draw a card, though, and throw in that bag. Yeah, I just fucking do it. Yeah. See, I'm hoping they do have a Shang-Chi, and I leech the hell out of it right now. They have six cards in hand. Yeah. And they're really passive with their cards right now. Quinjet gives you a bit flexibility in what we're doing. Oh, that worked bad. Thank you, thank you Look at that. I'll take that. Look at that. Oh, Can't, take another leech. leech. Again for good <laughs> measure. For good measure. <laughs> And there's Sarah. There's Sarah deck. Oh, they're they're gone. There's no way you continue this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's but you can just go. I would kind of go blue Marvel Space Stone. Yeah. I'm just man. Okay, so the Space Stone, so it draws, they're gone. Yeah. They're gone. So. Yeah. There, there's no reason they stay. See, Brad, what I'm trying to figure out right now is is this deck decent or are you good luck? Which of the two is happening? With the two, but I do notice your play style is a lot different than mine. But I am now I am a little bit more excited to play this. A little bit more excited. The question is, Brad, would would Arrow have been better in any of those games instead of Okoye? Do you think? Well, how many times do we see Okoye? Not that many, but I do think the few times we did see her, she did add a, a little bit of power that kind of could have helped for some spots. Even that one where we retreated against Shuri, where the Dark Dimension was on the left, mm-hmm. I think there is a chance you win that game. I mean, they, you, they, A, they have to have Red Skull, mm-hmm. and B, um, they have to play it over that. And they could have been thinking that because... Um, 
honestly, and you've said it yourself, sure, you play as kind of like a brain dead deck. Not that it is a brain dead deck, but like it's easier to kind of go through the motions yeah. and kind of get caught up in it. I could have easily seen them just go, okay, we're just trying to win mid as hard as possible. Shang-Chi doesn't exist. I'm winning right. And then just kind of do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was a, and that wasn't a Koye, in a Koye game. Um, I, yeah, I don't think arrow would have been that great in a lot of different spots just because you either pivot to leech or dino a lot. In yeah. this deck. And Arrow could have been nice on a turn six in some instances, um, but thinking off the top of my head, uh, there wasn't any I could glaringly think of. That yeah, where we're like ahead in two really. lanes and want to arrow them off. Because yeah. trust, like that's something I wonder about, especially when using Lockjaw, because if Lockjaw pulls an arrow or something like that, it's like, like uh, same thing when people use Valkyrie with a Thanos Lockjaw deck. I'm like, I don't want to pull a random Valkyrie. Like That could hurt yeah. me more than it helps, you know? So I don't know. But you did... Uh, it did give me a, a little bit more faith in this deck. So, Brad, aside from our incredible podcast, where can people find you at and your Thanos skills? Of course. Uh, well, you can find me on Twitter at Bradsifer, B-R-A-D-C-I-F-E-R. It's like Lucifer, but Brad instead. It's a dumb inside joke where I listen to metal music. My friend's like, you're Bradsifer. <laughs> say, whatever. It's stupid. It's a really bad joke, but like it's a, it's stuck. Um, and you can also find me on YouTube. Same thing, Bradsford. It's literally anything you find me. Type in Bradsford. You know. uh, it's uh, all of my socials is that. And of course, the podcast here with with Chris on Snap on Ego. Beautiful. 